Hi student friends, welcome back to the virtual classroom of the quest. Today our topic is motion in one dimension. So what is motion and what are dimensions? A body is said to be at rest if it does not change its position with respect to time. As the letters on the board, they do not change their position with respect to time. So, they are at rest. But my finger here is constantly moving with respect to time. So, the my finger is said to be in motion. So, a body which changes its position with respect to time is said to be in motion. Let us now recall the geometry of different shapes which we have studied in our previous classes. So, if you consider a straight line or a thin wire or thin rod, then it has only a significant length, but no breadth or no height. So, it is a one dimensional shape. One dimensional shape. But, if you consider any structure, which, is, which can be drawn on a plane. Let us consider a circle. A square. A rectangle and so on. Which can be drawn on the surface of a plane. Then they are called as two dimensional. Because their area spreads over two mutually perpendicular directions two mutually perpendicular directions so they are termed as two dimensional shapes so if you consider spheres like balls cubes etc then they will possess length breadth and as well as the height so they are three dimensional shapes. Our observable world is three dimensional in nature. So, if you consider motion in one dimension, it means that a body moves in a straight line path. Whatever may be the frame of reference, maybe it be one dimension, maybe two dimension, maybe three dimension. But if a body moves in a straight line path, then its motion is considered to be one dimensional. So to understand it clearly, let us have a look on the clip. Now let us consider a dot. Then what will be its dimensions? Yes, it is dimensionless as it has zero length, zero breadth and zero height. And if we put this dot on a straight line, then its position can be determined by simply measuring its distance from a fixed point. Let that fixed point be O. This fixed point is referred as the reference point or the origin from which the distances should be measured. But if the reference point O is set anywhere else on the same plane but not on the same line as the dot exists, then the position of the point is determined by a set of two coordinates which show the distance of the point from the origin O along two mutually perpendicular directions. Now the point is said to be in a two dimensional frame of reference and its motion along the same straight line is said to be as one dimensional motion in a two dimensional frame of reference. Now if we consider the point to be in space then its position can be determined by a set of three coordinates which show 
its distance from a fixed point which is the reference point or the origin along three mutually perpendicular directions. Now the point is in three dimensional frame of reference and if it moves in a straight line in space then it is said to be having a one dimensional motion in three dimensional space. So it is now clear to us that if a body moves in a straight line path then its motion is said to be one dimensional no matter if we consider it in three dimensional frame or two dimensional frame of reference or one dimensional frame of reference. However, the simplest way of representing a one dimensional motion is to consider it in a one dimensional frame of reference which is a single axis only.